Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm just making a quick video today on how to nail your film. I know it seems like a silly thing to make a video on, but I get asked this question quite often. Um, so I wanna make sure that you guys are nailing out your film correctly so you can avoid having it getting lost or um, customs actually opening up the box or the envelope, which I've heard has happened. So anyways, first what you wanna make sure is that you put all of your film into a Ziploc bag. So make sure that you've labeled any film, if there's any pushing or pulling that you need the lab to do, that needs to be labeled on the actual film roll that you've pushed. Um, so make sure everything is labeled correctly. In this case, I'm not pushing or pulling, I'm just uh, having my film processed normally. So I'm gonna put it all in this bag. Make sure to count all of your film rolls for the order form, um, and that's good to go. So next I have these boxes that I purchased off of Uline. Um, I tried getting the smaller boxes just because a lot of the time I'm only mailing out maybe 10, 15 or 20 rolls and the less space that you take up the better. So obviously it costs less money. Um, so this is just a square box. I make sure to tape it um, using this nice thick clear tape and I tape all the edges making sure that there's no place where water could easily get in. So next what I'm going to do is just fill out the form and all you have to do is go on your lab's website. I use Photovision and you print out one of their forms and you just fill that out and that's going to go inside the Ziploc bag with your film. Now my printer hasn't been working for a long time so I typically just write it in a notebook. I know all the questions that the form asks. Um, in the lab, we have a relationship so they know exactly what I'm looking for, but make sure you do print out that form to make things easier. Just a quick little note that I always get my film scans as normal size. I don't get the large size scans. Um, most of the time the normal size is enough for me. Um, but it would be nice to have the option uh, to print larger. So that's definitely something to keep in mind, especially if your clients might be asking for super large prints, then maybe it's worth it to just get the whole order scanned as large. Okay, so now that I have all the film packaged, I'm gonna go ahead and place it in the box, make sure everything is nice and secure, everything's sealed. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and seal up the box. Again, I'm using a lot of tape to seal this box just to make sure that everything's secure. There's no holes for any water to get in. Okay, so the box is really nicely sealed up here. Got tape everywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and write Photovision's address directly on the box and of course write my mailing address on there too. Um, the last thing that I wanna talk about is the form that you're filling out at the post office. So one thing to note quickly is that I use a box and not an envelope. And the biggest reason for that is I know with film, um, it's not something that's super solid. So if you were to have a lot of weight pressed onto a film roll, it could come undone. There could be um, some light leaks that happen if any of the film is opened up. And so that's why I trust a box because I know that even if something heavy was to be put on a box, um, it'll be able to hold the weight and there won't be any weight sitting on my film. And that's kind of my only concern with envelopes is that somehow it could get squished or maybe it could even get lost easier because it's an envelope so it, maybe it's treated differently. I know one photographer who does use envelopes and she doesn't have any issues. Um, but I've also heard of other stories where customs have opened up the envelope and um, just crazy things like that, or it's gotten lost easier. But yeah, so I use a box and I label it correctly. And then when I'm filling out the form for UPS, I make sure to put the value of it at $200. Now I also label it as wedding photos. So when I'm filling out the description, I put wedding photos, film. I also put don't x-ray. And so I know maybe they have to x-ray it anyways, but I put that there just so they know that it is film, that it's serious and that it's wedding photos. And hopefully they will um, take it more seriously and not put it through the x-ray. Never had any film get damaged 
um, from an x-ray or anything like that. So it's not a huge issue, but I like to put it on there just in case. And lastly, when it comes to choosing the shipping service, I like to do overnight shipping. Um, there was a while when I first started where I did two day expedited, so it would get there within two days. Um, that worked great. I never had any issues, never had any delays, but I do like the feeling of having it there the next day, which is why I do overnight it. it might cost me 70 or $80, um, but it's worth my peace of mind knowing that my film is safe and sound especially if it's client work, wedding photos, that kind of thing. Um, and also the longer that it sits in transit, the more opportunity it has to get lost along the way or exposure to even heat or different weather temperatures. So if it gets there overnight, I know that it hasn't been sitting in heat for a long time. And with UPS, you can get a business card, a small business card, which will give you 10% off every order. So it's worth looking into if you're in Canada, I'm not sure about the US or what the other prices are for the other mailing services, but UPS has always been reliable for me. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions or if there's anything else that you'd like to know, make sure to post those in the comments below. Um, please hit that subscribe button. I'm putting out more videos every week, so I hope you guys enjoy these and that you're learning something new. Have a great week guys, and I'll see you in the next video.